I would like you to pay attention over here at the like the first market stage when the market is loud. Do you see that big bullish candle over here? Notice that this bullish candle happens during extremely wide bands. Take a look. And then the price creates some kind of substantial increase. And then the price bounces from the upper bound and starts decreasing. This is, in my opinion, also another signal. And this could be interpreted as like an overbought price signal because this big candle on what is that 10th of January, I think maybe it is related to an economic event uh, from the European Union. Notice the price like shoots up sharply shoots up bands expand, of course, because this is like an extremely high volatility, uh, which is not normal having in mind the previous price action. And then the price starts like slows down the increase a bit, test the upper band as a resistance and bounce from it uh, in bearish direction. And this is when the Bollinger Band indicator, it gives you an overbought signal when the price is like unusually high. And then the price enters a bearish trend and gets back to normal, like step by step. So basically, this is how you will need to interpret uh, like the most important signal of the Bollinger Band indicator when the bands are like expanding and contracting. And you will need to you will need to learn how to shuffle between these two signals and to and to recognize them in a in a good way. Because if you if you do not recognize a band's expansion, then you can miss a nice trading opportunity on the chart. If you don't recognize a like a Bollinger Band squeeze or try or Bollinger Band contraction, then you might forget to exit the market at the at the right moment. So this is how the Bollinger Band indicator works.